to study with Marsha YouTube channel. So my dear kids, last week we learned how to draw a flowchart for a real world problem. Today, let's learn what are the variables and how to use them in a flowchart. So, we can define a variable as an entity that used to show values. So, let's discuss with an example. Here, they have given you a question. You have given two numbers A and B. If A is greater than B, we should display A. If A is smaller than B, we should display B. Now let's solve this example step by step. First, you should identify the variables. You can see the entities we can store values are A and B. So, A and B will be the variables. Now, let's find out the input, output and the decision separately. As you can see in the question, first they are saying you have given A and B numbers. So, this will be your input. Right? Next, they are saying about a comparison. Right? If A is greater than B, we should display A. If A is smaller than B, we should display B. Okay? So, this comparison should be the decision. Right? The final answer after the comparison will be the output. When you are drawing the flowchart, you can choose one of these comparisons and add it inside your decision box. So now let's draw the flowchart. I'm going to begin the flowchart with the start symbol. Then I will add my input. Now comes the decision box. Okay. So I have two decisions here. If A is greater than B, I should display A. If A is smaller than B, I should display B. Now I should finish my flowchart. Now let's draw a flowchart for example 2. Here the question is, you have given three numbers A, B and C. Find the largest number. Okay, let's do the comparison first. Here see I have three uh, variables. Okay, so I should compare all these three variables. If A is greater than B, A will be the largest number. If B is greater than C, B should be the largest one. If C is greater than A, then C will be the largest number, right? So now, let's draw the flowchart like this. Again, I will start with the start uh, symbol. Now, I have given the input as input A, B, C. Then, I have taken three decision box. Is A is greater than B? If yes, we should display A. Is B is greater than C? If it is yes, I should display B. Is C is greater than A? Then I should display C. Finally, I should finish all my uh, arrows, that means my signal lines from this top sim. And don't forget uh, to mention the conditions like yes, no and everything. So my dear friends, I hope this part is very clear for you. So, I'll see you with another new video soon. Thank you very much.